Hi, Danny. I'm Dr. Race. You're the sole survivor of a terrible tragedy. The reason you survived is because you're a very uncommon girl. Parker? Every time you make a movie, you make it with a specific family. And when you're all in the same location every day, you learn to create the actual family bonds that you need with the people that are on set with you. This isn't a hospital, Pocahontas. It's a cage. We wanted the best actors you could possibly get young actors. We knew Maisie Williams was the thing that would hold this entire movie together. And everything's got to surround her. She's the heart of it. What the hell's going on? Where's Dr. Reyes? She tried to kill Danny. I met up with Josh for what I thought was just a general meeting, and he told me about the comics, The New Mutants. He said that he was making it into a film, but it was like very early stages, but would I be interested? There was no script or anything like that. It was just like what he had said, so it was a really strange way to go about getting a film. I'm all alone. There's two people up here. You called me a nobody. I was familiar with everyone's work. I was familiar with Stranger Things. I was a huge fan of Game of Thrones, and I knew Maisie's work, and I was a big fan of Anya's movies. What's his power? He won't tell, but he's got something. My parents sent him here to be cured. It did the first audition, and it went really well, and then when I heard that I was gonna have a callback, I was super excited, and that got pushed a couple months, and then I was supposed to do the third audition, but that ended up being like pushed for like months and months and months, and you know, I have no idea how my life is gonna go, how it's gonna be. So I'm like imagining two futures where I don't get it and I have to like start over and then where I do get it and it's like this fantasy and it just sounds so amazing. I read with Blue and she was just amazing and she was just right for the role, you know, and like where we have such a close relationship and it just works and looks great on screen together and it's like a really good silhouette. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful cage. We're here for like a month before we even started filming. I still remember when we first met, I was so nervous because I knew I was gonna have to make a movie with all these people. And I was just like, oh, okay, this is happening. What's the last thing you remember before coming here? My dad woke me up. He said we had to run and everything was shaking. Those three weeks were so important for me to prep for this movie because of the other characters, because of the other actors, what they brought to the table. And they gave me so much confidence because I felt so comfortable around them. And we have five kids sharing the same hotel floor and like we're right next to each other. Like it's like literally like, oh, it's 11 p.m. We have nothing to do tomorrow. Let's have some wine in someone's room or and chat all night. You know, like those things happen. Spotter set, action. Put those back of balls together, man. My favorite day was the attic scene. It's like the first time we actually hang out as friends. That was a really special moment for me because we tapped into everyone's personalities straight away. And we were there as Roberto, as Rain, as Danny, as Sam and Eliana. Dude, when we rehearse this, it was so exciting. <laughs> it's really fun. I take a bit of time to get to know people, and I think people take a little bit of time to get to know me as well, because I do have quite a cutting, dry sense of humor, and we've all had, like, different upbringings, and we're all from different countries, and, like, we just have different cultures, and so I think it takes time for us all to get to know each other. Sometimes I feel like I've made you up. You didn't make me up. I promise you, I'm real. I'd never worked or met Anya before. I met her on this. Um, but we've worked with a lot of the same people. Uh, she worked with all of the same stunt team as on Game of Thrones. So, like, we, you know, bonded over that. And she's wonderful. I know your power, new girl. Let me show you mine. The five of us kids, we actually were living quite a, a mirrored situation as to what the people were actually living in the movie because we were five strangers that all got together and basically had to use each other as family building blocks every single day. And so actually that's exactly what these kids are going through in this hospital. I had to go and work in the mines of my dad. And this one day I just got claustrophobic. You blasted. Josh said creatively, he said, these are your characters. He said, I've cast you because I all think you're the right person for the role. And I want you to just take control of them. They're very different, but they're also very similar. And they kind of, throughout the story, allow each other, or they all help each other to kind of get better and they learn from each other. Henry and Charlie are like my loves. I love them so much. I'd worked with Charlie before on a movie called Maribyrn, so when I heard that he was doing this movie, I was just like, yes. 
my brother's back. So he's incredible and he's such a sensitive soul as well that it really comes across in this performance. You know how much trouble we're gonna get in for this? <laughs> What's she gonna do? Kick us out? Any scene with Blue has been amazing fun because I love making her laugh. I like making her laugh during a take as well. It's like a little competition, like who can be the funniest but not laugh. <laughs> Blue's been like living on her own for like five years, so she's like a very mature 22 year old. And so it's like a certain amount of like stuff in the industry that she doesn't know so much about. And there's a certain amount of like mental her like in that sense. But really she's super grown up and I find myself just like always just looking up to her. How do you know she's still in here? I'm a good smeller. Maisie's such a good actress. She's awesome, but she's also really, really funny. And coming from a Game of Thrones background, she knows how to be herself and then switch into character, which I love because if you're spending all day as the character in your head, it just gets a bit depressing after a while. And so if you can have fun prior to filming and then you can film and then you can have fun again, it's all good. Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. Work. Henry's just so much fun. He's so funny and he works really, really hard. Like we, you have a group of really hard working young actors. And so it's really nice to be a part of that environment. One company? Fine. Well, you have to turn off the lights. Ooh, scary. Henry's wonderful, and he's just like brought Roberto to life, and he's like has some amazing improvisation. We're trapped in here with demons, and you want us to stay trapped? Sit back. Hey, Bruno, chill. Chill, nothing. We're calling the cops and getting out of here. You're not going anywhere. Yes, says who? We have such a diverse cast, and we have a bunch of like young mutants and like. It's interesting seeing like the difficulties of having superpowers when you're growing up. And drop. And look. When you get to meet these people, we get along, which is so rare. You know, we're five young people, and you know, sometimes you can clash with people, but we're all so close now.